Nigeria is in the process of manufacturing COVID-19 vaccines. Director General of the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control revealed this during a press briefing in Lagos. Senior correspondent Ivy Kano reports. Coming from a university background in the United States, the Director General was not ready for what she would face on assumption of office. Directors don't have laptops. Said, hello, you don't have laptops? Okay, how do we even start talking of documentation? About 70 to 80 percent of our equipment were not working. Undeterred, she went to work. We started a quality management system. We got trained for 18 months. We started global benchmarking. In one year, we paid our three, we paid 3.01 billion naira. She also owes Nigerians the duty to eradicate and drastically reduce the influx of substandard drugs. We found loopholes there where products may not even be tested at all, and they will bring them into the country. So we went in 2019 and we declared a riot act in India and China that you want to trade with us, you bring something bad, you will be in trouble. Though not a manufacturer, she confirms the success made so far by Nigeria in the manufacturing of COVID-19 vaccine. We are working day and night to make sure that by the end of the year, we will start manufacturing of vaccine. That doesn't mean we'll produce complete, you know, live completely developed vaccine. The minister has gone through different pathways or is going through different pathways to ensure that this happens. But the government also has a PPP arrangement with May and Baker to form bio vaccines. The government has 49%. May and Baker has 51%. The NAVDAC DG also lamented that the approval numbers have been compromised by dubious characters. We have to sensitize the public. You have to buy your product from where you have the best confidence. If it is too cheap to be true, very likely it is not true. Media houses were also cautioned on the use of unauthorized herbal adverts in their organizations. Ivy, Kano. CVC News, Lego.